He has all these lifestyles that actually work against him being home, like at all. He doesn't like to just be home. Hello, hello everyone. It's me, Jessica, and welcome to my channel. Uh, we're working on a nap. I'm trying to film my intro and my daughter is technically still awake. So I think she just shut her door. Um, kind of freaked me out though. But anyways, hi, welcome back. Um, today is the finale day for Snowy Escape. Um, I say that there's going to be like a little PS part from Cohen at rock climbing and hopefully honestly with Kaori. Um, but I got them pregnant in the last part. So there would be a toddler potentially that they would have to think about. So at the very least, there will be like a PS from Cohen and Kaori may have to stay home with the child or I suppose we could send it to a babysitter. I'm getting besides myself right now. Um, beside myself, there we go. I, I'm getting off topic. That is for another day. Um, but today we are going to celebrate Ka Kaori's birthday. We're going to bring in the new baby or babies because honestly she is not even trimester three yet. And she is like humongo. I'll show y'all because um, I was checking in on the family. I gave her some fresh clothes. I also gave Asahi a fresh like cold outfit as well because we live up in the snowy area, so it's like all we see is their cold wear. So I freshened those up for the girls. Um, and then Asahi as well, at the very end of this, we will age her up into a teenager. Um, I think we'll kind of save her makeover for the Cottage Living expansion pack that is coming next week. Um, I'm kind of recording this late in the week, so I'm not sure. I might have this to you guys like Sunday or Monday, so we'll be getting pretty close actually to Cottage Living whenever I bring this to you guys. But I'm just so excited to get this kind of going. I want to see Asahi as a teen, so I'm going to stop talking. Um, I may have a, a napping toddler by the time I actually get to filming, but who knows? Let's play some games, guys. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and press play. I am here with uh, Kaori and Hallie in the garden. Um, so this is her at her second trimester. Excuse me? What, what's that? What, what? I'm, I'm pretty certain for some reason that she's going to have twins. Which just leads me to this, like, why? But why? Can we sell this rock climbing gear? No, but we could throw it away. Um, he's getting a phone call. So I did actually Dominic Fries. Um, no, no, no gigs. We're, we're, we're trying to focus here. Um, okay, so a couple things. I did sign Kaori up for another gig however i'm gonna like just send her to do it on her own i'm not gonna go with her but it'll be a way for us to get a little extra money in the household we have 5800 simoleons right now um i think off camera between the last part and this i sold a bunch of the stuff that was in cohen's inventory um i sold his like little r2 d2 buddy I know it's it's not actually an R2, right? It's a, I, I forget actually. Why is he sad? So close yet so far from feeling guilty. Wait, first off, now he's feeling shredding the gnar, bruh. Okay, well, um, no, he is feeling guilty. What, what, show me this. Cohen should be proud of how far, how far up the mountain he was able to go, but not making it all the way still feels like a huge disappointment to all the people involved. And he's also embarrassed because the house is dirty. Um, anyways, though, I did turn off aging because I think in this part there will be a little bit of time jumps here and there. I did want to play off camera to get us to Asahi's birthday, which is the same day as Kaori's, geez Louise, I can't, I can't like, for some reason I keep forgetting when their birthdays are. Um, but since their birthday is like actually so far down in the week, I'm kind of thinking that 
I'm gonna do a little bit of playing off camera. I know we're gonna have the baby probably tomorrow on Monday, um, but that's essentially the, the thing is that we can't be having babies off camera is how I feel. Like I gotta, I gotta like not, <laughs> not have the baby off camera. Um, but I also turned aging off because I didn't want for uh, Miss Hallie to pass away if I do end up playing off camera like that. I just don't want her to die off camera. So all around I'm trying to avoid uh, some catastrophes. So <laughs> that's where I'm at. Just trying. And this is Asahi's new little outfit. So, so, uh, I think she looks so cute. It's just a seasons one, um, but I, I think it's adorable. Honestly, I'm, I'm really, I like the colors on it. The little pink pockets. Um, she needs to use the restroom. So I'm kind of torn on the whole idea of having another child in the family. Um, we may, end up doing some renovations on the whole house here by the end of the part i think that i would like to kind of change this up just a smidge i think i want to move this whole room here back on the lot just a little bit and then i want to put asahi's room kind of where this is at coupled with a second bedroom for whatever sibling she has um just because easy even if I don't end up playing a whole awful lot with the child, like on camera, um, I feel like off camera between this and Cottage Living, I'm still gonna do a little bit of gameplay with Asahi sending her to school because I want her to like genuinely have good grades and do some stuff like that where she's actually going to school and putting in that effort. Um, look, sweetheart, I know you're tired. Just come in here and get some sleep. I did turn some auto lights on uh we'll do auto lights for this whole room in here but yeah i just wanted essentially to save a little bit of money to do a little bit of spending time with the family why come on cohen come on um i guess i need to get the vacuum out of her inventory give it to him so that he could actually maybe you know help out with some cleaning instead of like cussing at your daughter my dude, that's, you know, not the way to be. Um, he is cleaning up the dish, so that's, that's good. He's like, I don't have the vacuum. <laughs> I'll just clean up this yeah. dish. Okay, we'll have him vacuum. And his needs are honestly pretty good. I am fairly certain that we have not gotten any sort of update yet where they have fixed the glitch on the slopes. Um, I guess we can see real quick. No, it's still not letting me. Okay. But it does, honestly, we probably should just, like, keep doing what we can. Um, I would maybe like to have him come continuously do some snowboarding. Honestly, can I, like, just teleport him? I'm gonna tell him to stop doing that. Come here. Teleport your booty there. Is, is he there? Okay, he's there. And then we'll we'll do it this way. Snowboarding continuously, medium intensity. You know, work for me? Okay, perfect. That kind of skips the whole process of trying to run over here, which takes most of the night anyways. All right, well, we're gonna let him shred it a little bit, just a little bit, getting that skill up. All right, guys, it is 6 a.m. and little, oh, no, 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 don't do that. Just play dolls or something. Um, Asahi is awake. She is like really been working on this creative skill. Very good. She is almost level seven. When I actually made her the social aspiration, she seems to be like more interested in creative Kind of things um which i'm honestly i'm very excited about i'm considering making her teenage trait that she gets right now creative um that or i was kind of thinking outdoor lover that always kind of helps with the rags to riches just a smidge because um we're gonna start out with no money on an empty lot so she's gonna have to sleep in a tent for a little while 
all of those fun rags to riches things we're really going to actually get to do uh we didn't do that with snowy escape because there's not really the best way to make money i didn't want to uh you know do like vending machine stuff and end up dying so we just kind of ended up like doing a small little starter home and saving our money from there and honestly we have not gotten very far we are still in a pretty tiny house um I'm thinking, let's go ahead and just have Cohen wake up and sell everything. Uh, let's have her straight up come here and just like come stand here. I want for y'all to see how large this girl is because I feel like she is going to have twins. And I, I don't know if I'm just like cursed. What, what is this? Ho you know, holy crap. Yeah, I bet. I bet you're uncomfortable. Oh, I didn't mean to pause it. <laughs> oh my gosh, she's making a mess. No! Clean it up now. No! Um, you know, I wish that we could put this little TV in her inventory. I'm trying to remember if Cohen actually found that TV or if it if, was it the one from his parents' house? I can't really remember. Um, yeah. <laughs> but I'm excited to have a little babe. I really am. I'm, I'm quite ready. Uh, it is probably almost... Yeah, it's actually it's like time. I saw he is going to be going to school. And then I think... What I'm kind of thinking... Oh, yeah, she has a gig. Okay. What I'm kind of thinking is... I might age the girls up a smidge early on Wednesday instead. We'll just celebrate Winterfest and everything. I think that's kind of what I'm thinking. I don't know. I guess there's no harm in like actually doing that gameplay off camera. So that way you guys can see whatever toddler or I suppose toddlers we end up having. Uh, but I'm really excited. Cohen, what's going on with you, my man? I was kind of thinking I would like for him to try and do a little bit of crafting up some stuff. We have 7,100 bucks though. So we're doing pretty all right. I just want her to try and clean up the house a little bit. All right, so Cohen's doing that. She's going to, oh, right, I keep forgetting. She has this gig, like, yeah, there it is. Okay, send alone. Um, yeah, I'm not going to go with her. I just want her to go. I guess this is kind of a, a test. We'll see what happens whenever she goes to work on her own for this career. I'm not really, this is her reputation and her performance right now. I'll make sure that I, cause I know my, my face cam is typically in this spot. So I'll make sure that you guys can see that. But um, I guess we'll see what her, her whole situation is whenever she gets back. Um, I kind of think, let's go ahead and just tell Asahi to study hard, even though Oh my gosh, that bitter thing is back. Okay, well, you know what, honey? Um, I don't know if I'm ever gonna be able to fix that for you, honestly. <laughs> I am not sure. Cohen's just like, yeah, I'm just uh, doing a little bit of woodworking and listening to music, trying to ignore the fact that my wife is mad at me because our climbing trip did not go exactly perfect. Like it was perfect. It was very perfect, but it was not perfect enough apparently. Oh, hello mother. Yes, come right on inside. Check on our plants. Uh-huh, yes, yes, snoop around. Are our plants acceptable to you? All right, so he finished that table. Um, oh, you know what? I should probably actually make him eat like food that's here and not cheat his meat or anything like that because that's not necessary. Um, lunch of sadness. <gasps> Find the kid or I will. <laughs> I kind of think that that actually is like what Cohen would say though. Um, maybe not. I don't know. Let's go ahead and just have him grab some leftovers. And then I'm going to tell him that he can go do a little snowboarding because 
it's like the moment that I have him do anything inside, he is like the outdoorsy lifestyle, the, the energetic lifestyle. He has all these lifestyles that actually work against him being home, like at all. He doesn't like to just be home. Um, I'm trying to see here, where are all his lifestyles? Here, here they are. Outdoorsy, adventure seeking, adrenaline seeking, I'm sorry. The adrenaline seeker lifestyle. People, person, outdoorsy, and frequent traveler. So he does not care. Oh, and he has the energetic lifestyle? I'm sorry, do we have five? I thought you couldn't have that many. Hmm, reward store. Oh, is this just like my aspirational points? Okay, yeah, cool, thanks. I thought that that would take me to like, yeah, something different or better, something more exciting. Um, okay, well, I guess let's go ahead and tell Kaori to work hard. And then can I check on her performance? Oh, she actually isn't supposed to be done with work until 9 p.m. It's actually a 12 hour gig if uh, we don't go with her. So there's that. Also, what is going on here? But Hallie, what are you doing? <laughs> Hallie got them moves with them hips, girl. Oh, oh, she's like, no, no, no. I'm gonna bust it down now. Busting it down. She, she's like feeling flirty. Look, if you need to like go have like a old ladies day out, you know, go for it. You don't need to come here and be all like weird in front of, I, I don't even understand. Okay, well, I'm gonna go ahead and just meet you guys whenever we go into labor or whenever Kaori gets home. Hopefully she doesn't go into labor at all while she is at work. Um, but oh well if she does i guess i don't know i guess we'll find out <laughs> okay she actually got promoted i was checking in to see how everything was going because she is incredibly tired she's had this moodlet uh, about being exhausted for a little while so i was kind of like hoping that she wouldn't come home with no money um especially because oh wow she came home with like a couple thousand holy crap okay because we actually had to pay a couple thousand in bills. We were down to like 40 something hundred dollars, like 4,000 simoleons basically. Um, but we are in the third trimester, so we are going to give birth soon. Uh, she's feeling happy from completing her gig. She got the promotion. Um, I guess we can go ahead and press play. I probably just let her come get some sleep. That is all she's going to want right now. Um, okay, so we got... Promoted to decorating consultant, she also received a $600 bonus plus whatever money she made from the actual gig itself. Um, she can discuss trends. Okay. Uh, Asahi has the responsible trait in range. Uh, Cohen also got his snowboarding skill up to level 6. I don't know, that, that notification is in here somewhere. I'm not sure where it is, but I'm gonna go ahead and cancel all those notifications out. Cohen is actually up here. Oh. Close call. He is in so much pain. He got badly injured recently and is, it's just unbearable, right? I, or it's just bearable. Okay, Um, I'm gonna tell him to go home. Oh, I'm sorry, dude. That's my bad. I thought you were just like having a great time. Um, I'm gonna tell her to, well, is she actually sleeping or is she napping? She is actually sleeping. Good for her. Very good for her. <laughs> She's gone into labor. Okay, oh my gosh. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and tell her to wake up. Go in, hello, wake up. Wake up, Kaori. Wake up.
Okay, she's up. I'm gonna, oh, okay. Well, you need to use the restroom, huh? All right, well, use the restroom and then go have the baby, or I suppose babies, at hospital. Uh, send alone, for sure, definitely. I'm, I'm not gonna go with her. Sorry about it. I don't really care to travel to the hospital so much. Um, oh, Cohen, I'm so sorry. I'm genuinely so sorry, dude. I did not mean for any any of that to happen. Um, can we maybe actually have him come and take a bath? I know that is Asahi's bath area, um, but I think it's, it's kind of important right now. Honestly, your dad is really going through it. And it's kind of important. I kind of hope that he just ignores the situation going on with Kaori right now. Like, honestly, this is baby number two. She got this. You just take your bath, let her go off to the hospital real quick. So this is uh, baby number two or three or whatever. And she's just like, all right, I'm off. I am off guys. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go pop out this kid real quick. I have no idea what I'm gonna, I, I have no idea. I am not prepared for this in any way, shape or form. Oh my gosh. It is a boy. Kane? No. Marco? No. We, we had a Marco. Not in this Let's Player family, but I can't. Dan, Aaron, Cyrus, Sammy, Brennan. Okay. I, I know that Asahi was one that kept very true to the Japanese heritage. Um, I think that we're going to allow kind of a unique funky name in there. I don't really know what you would call Riker, but I think that Riker is a cute name. Um, so we're going to go with Riker. Okay, one baby, pink, the heavens, oh my gosh, I was so scared. Okay, so just one baby and it was a boy, so she got a little brother, that is awesome. Um, I think let's go ahead and have Cohen come over here, do a little bottle feeding and cuddling. We'll get some of that out of the way immediately. Hello, little peanut. Um, yeah, Cohen, you've got a baby here. I don't know if you were entirely prepared for this, but you've got a babe. You guys are all babes all the way around, babies everywhere. Okay, well, um, that is really exciting. I think that now I'm going to do like the big jump cut. Um, I, I think that essentially what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut to like toddlerhood. Oh my gosh, Kaori didn't even make it to bed. I told her to come sleep and she actually passed out on the floor. So let's tell her to go to sleep again. <laughs> and hopefully this time she'll actually make it. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to do a big jump cut. We will basically celebrate birthdays and do a little speed renovation of the house for the very end. And then I will have some sort of little outro. I don't know. I guess we'll, uh, we'll see how it goes. I really have no idea how I'm recording all this. Uh, but dancing is in my bones. Um... I kind of like don't want to say yes. I don't want for her, you know, maybe we just like don't have a stereo so much around um, whenever Asahi is, you know, a adult and she gets to run around and do her own stuff. I don't know. I just don't want her to like think that her life is about dancing because it's not. But anyways, jump cut. <laughs> Okay guys, I have a pause. Um, I think what we're about to do is actually age up little guy here. Um, and then I'm going to do the makeover of the house. I want to do the makeover, the makeover on the house because we're gonna have the toddler 
throughout the day, we're going to celebrate um, Winterfest and the birthdays essentially with the last little bit at the part. But right now we're going to do a birthday and then kick off a little speed renovation of the house. So um, let's go ahead and age up a little man here. I will actually oh. randomize his trait because we're not going to have to deal with him as much. Um, so he is actually a wild child. Um, you know, I think we kind of got what we asked for there. Um, but this is a little bean number two, little man here, a little, little squirt dude. Oh my gosh. He's so cute. Where are you going to put him down? Any, any time now, any time now that you want to put him down. Okay. So here he is. He has lighter hair. It's more of a brown color, which kind of, I feel like could come from, uh, Hallie. I don't, honestly, we... Um, Kaori's grandparents, they were elders the entire time that we knew them. So I'm not really sure what color hair, um, even Kaori herself, she's always had colored hair. So I don't know what side, or I'm not, not what side, what color hair her side of the family would bring to the table. But we do have a lighter color hair there because Kaori's, or Kaori, I saw he is, uh, I got much darker hair like Cohen. She has got like a black colored hair. Um, but okay, I am going to go ahead and kick off the little speed reno. I hope you enjoyed the little speed build there. I am going to go ahead and do like a proper little walk through real quick. Um, the house is obviously not much bigger at all, so I definitely didn't change too much there. Um, but whenever you come in, it does feel a little bit more put together and cohesive now. Um, this house definitely could stand for like so many more renovations and 
just it, it could be so much better um, but I'm honestly happy with it we're not gonna play with it much more obviously with everything about to transition um, so we're just gonna kind of leave it at this like happy medium where I am very happy with this house but I think you know if you downloaded it feel free to do whatever you want to it is how i feel so um i guess we'll just let the family go ahead and play oh yeah then they're all happy because we actually decorated for christmas i'm sure you guys noticed that um whenever i actually if you didn't i did show the house and there were lights on it <laughs> i didn't i didn't show uh until i just showed anyways I did buy a new fridge, so we now have a nicer looking fridge over there, otherwise the kitchen is the exact same. Um, we've got the little fireplace here. I did want to make sure that we implemented a bunch of things from Snowy Escape and a bunch of things that we might have been missing, so like a coffee table. We now have a coffee table over here. Um, I thought about putting like a little two-seater dining table here, um, but it, like kind of as like an extra homework spot or whatever just like a spot to kind of chit chat um but i figured we've got the little table over there where they can actually sit down and have their meals we do have a desk and there's actually kind of like a, a nook office kind of situation if you will now so it makes a bit more sense um this bathroom is still the exact same and i did not change the bedroom at all honestly i probably should have given them a dresser and we could afford a dresser so that's just me being lazy i didn't think about it the lights were not on in their room when i was doing the makeover so i just I, I dropped the ball um but this is this little area now i think that it looks so cute all i did was add the plant hanging from the ceiling in the corner uh but it just like brought the space together you know hanging plants do that right they just like make everything feel so much more yeah and here it's just dark like so i totally should have given them a dresser and i'm really sorry that i didn't but uh, often here is where we've got like the little desk area. It's basically a hallway. Um, I thought about putting two bedrooms for the kids, but it's honestly a shared bedroom and there's a playroom. Uh, so this is going to be the kind of like a bathroom area where you can come do your toddler training, get the bathtub in the sink, and then the little toilet is off over here in its own room trying to keep to the traditional sense. And then in here we've got the crop area. I just moved it straight back. I tried to keep it like the exact same. So there's nothing really new there. Um, and then off in here is the playroom. Oh, look how cute everyone's being. Oh, okay. So Riker, I think that's a cute name. Oh. Oh my goodness. Okay, well, there's like a little dollhouse in here. I put this in here so that this makes it feel like maybe there's a bit more to do for the kids. Uh, but then off in their room, they've got the little toddler area. Uh, the little toddler area. And we've got little blocks for them. We've got the little toy bin. And then this little corner is kind of like Asahi. You know, she just... Her room got overtaken by a toddler. So we've got the calendar and the book bag in the corner. Um, I know it's not like that cluttered. It's really not that cute or, or whatever. Um, but I just, I didn't want to spend a whole lot of time trying to decorate super excessively. I just wanted to get back to the gameplay so that we could kind of enjoy these moments. Um, so actually, it is freaking time to age up our ladies. I want to go ahead and get Asahi and Kaori aged up. Kaori's going to be an adult. Asahi's going to be a teen. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Um, and we'll just have to keep an eye on little Riker as we go into the Snowy Escape, or Snowy Escape, the Cottage Living LP. Um, we'll just have to keep an eye on that situation. Um, but I'm going to tell Miss Kaori to come over here and blow out her candles. What kind of game? <laughs> I'll move. She is an adult. <laughs> Mom, for the win. Yeah, they still have 3,400 simoleons left over after I did all of this stuff, trying to like spend their money and stuff. Um, so I don't know. I don't think I'm going to do any more renovations at all. I think, I think that that's it. Okay, I wanted to get in here to where we can really see 
our girl happy birthday happy birthday <laughs> dude yeah get, you gotta blow again there you go there you go happy birthday kaori you an adult now okay fulfilling dreams planning for retirement yada 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 oh i feel like we could have used my hair tickled me and i thought it was a bug um i feel like we could have used one of her grandparents names as riker's like actual name um but i mean it's okay right it's not a big deal okay asahi it's your turn oh my god i'm so excited you guys teen birthday is hands down my most favorite i know that probably goes for a lot of us because it's like you get to finally see what they're going to like really and truly look like as basically an adult um because you know they look the same as a young adult and a teen um oh my gosh i like just missed that okay well hopefully i can get a cute screenie from that goodness how Lisa did a gift for her. Okay, so I think I might just set painting as a like for her. And I don't know, should I randomize it? You guys will have to let me know if you feel like I am like letting you down randomize. I don't know about that. Recycle disciple? No. Squeamish? No no outgoing no i don't want her to be a bookworm see i just want her to be like an outdoor lover i think i'm gonna be honest with you guys that or like maybe a green fiend because i did feel like we could maybe integrate some parts of eco lifestyle in with our kind of gameplay of course i want to focus on cottage living so i don't want implementing eco lifestyle stuff into it to take away from it i just feel like there are some parts of eco lifestyle that will help us so i was kind of thinking about um adding like what you do solar panels there we go that's the word i'm looking for um we'll go ahead and just give her the animal aspiration that comes with the cats and dogs oh. pack but i think we'll end up doing um whatever it is the aspiration that um i don't think we need to put candles back in this but yeah the aspiration that comes with the new pack the cottage living pack that will be what we actually give her but here she is she's got a little faux hawk and she's all depressed immediately from being a teen but Honestly, and this is the exact opposite of what I was thinking for her. I want to give her the bandana hair that's coming with Cottage Living, the long hair that has like the, the little, little bandana. Um, I just think it's real cute. So I love that she's looking at me all like smirky, uh -huh. but oh, look at her. She still looks so much like both of them. Oh, and she immediately is going straight to doing her homework. I cannot deal with her. She is such a good kid. Okay, well, this is who we get to play with in the future, our little Miss Bean here. Um, I think I'm going to really save her like whole makeover. I'm not going to do a makeover in this part for her um, because I want to save that for the cottage living. So I might pop in to create a sim on my own time. I might... I might not. I don't know. I'm sorry if you guys are mad about that, but hey, in the next week, we will see Miss Asahi here again. I promise we will be doing cottage living about once a week. Um, I think moving forward, what my schedule will be to implement cottage living is that we will do like cottage living and then two other regular videos, whatever they may be, and then cottage yeah. living again. So if we won't be doing it as frequently as we have been trying to jam pack uh, the snowy here recently we've been doing snowy every other video and just like cycling the other stuff in in that one slot so it's been a little slower on my it's definitely been a bit slower on my other 
um, storylines as far as the not so very and stuff so I apologize if you guys are fans of, of that and you are missing it um, I just wanted to make sure that I got snowy escape all kind of wrapped up the storyline everything and apparently then some because now we actually have a toddler and I'm kind of freaked out about it but hey I uh, I'm not gonna make you guys deal with that at all um, but I am going to be doing some off-camera play with Asahi herself to make sure that she does actually get to go to some of her high school like years and on that note hopefully making good grades while she's there yeah. maybe having some friendships by the time that you know you guys see her again so um yeah I'm just really excited to go ahead and bring the new situation to fruition it's exciting exciting times um i'm just kind of trying to make sure i add birthday candles back to this cake because oh and cohen is getting down with it um but yeah i think i'll need the cake probably for Riker um off camera like over the next little time i would imagine he'll probably age up while i'm playing with Asahi a little bit. Uh, Mila, no. Man, everyone calls Cohen. Everyone wants to hang out with Cohen. Um, but yeah, you guys will actually see this family one more time and Asahi will probably still be in the house. Um, so I guess I might have given her a smidge of a makeover by then. But then again, maybe not. I'm not making any promises. Um, but I am going to go ahead and stop yammering on. I hope you guys have enjoyed this whole let's play and everything. Um, you know, open presents with everyone. I didn't want to do this just yet. But then again, I did set it down on the lot. I think that it's only fitting to make sure that we come over here. Everyone opens up a present. Um, and I guess this will be the last little thing that we do that with this family is celebrate yeah. Winterfest. They don't even have a Christmas tree, um, but like you guys live in a winter wonderland, so you don't need a Christmas tree, right? Um, are we waiting? Oh, I think we're probably waiting on the toddler that's pottying. Oh, I should probably put this cake in the fridge. Like, honestly, if I'm trying to save it, that would be a genius idea, right? Okay, I think everyone's actually coming over now. I think we're about to open up these presents. Okay, our little toddlers with the program. Looks like Riker is actually really happy about opening up presents. Is everyone getting to it? Oh, Cohen! Cohen! <gasps> Cohen is not particularly happy about this large pet poo! <gasps> and absolutely, Asahi loves Japanese folk music. Absolutely! Oh my gosh, Cohen threw his present down. I've never seen a sim throw their present down. Okay, well, uh, Kaori's happy about her present. Okay, well, that did not go as expected at all. Um, oh, she got a candle. Okay. <laughs> all right, guys, well, I am going to go ahead and wrap this whole let's play and part up here. Um, I hope you guys have enjoyed. It looks like Hallie did not enjoy her present either. Nobody is liking their presents. Let's see, does Asahi like her present? She got a gaming mat. She can't wait to show this off. You know what? I freaking bet. Okay. Well, that gaming mat would have been good to have for money. But then again, we've got all this money left over. <laughs> all right. Well, thank you guys so, so much for stopping by. I hope you guys enjoyed our story here with the little Feldman family. I have had so much fun. Uh, even though it's been like glitches galore, I've still had such a blast with this family. Um, and I will be back with the PS from Cohen. Hopefully from the mountaintop, we can kind of accomplish some of those life goals that we missed out on um, due to glitches. So glitches and all though. Thank you guys so, so much for stopping by. I will catch y'all in the next one. Bye.